This is the next installment in my box barn build. And you know, I could live with the barn like this for many years, but in all honesty, I think it needs a wall here, like something just to keep the wind and rain and stuff out. And before we get too far into this, let's just have a little word about brackets. Now when affixing a post to a pier, it is customary. If you didn't bury the post, it's customary to use some kind of bracket. Now there are these kind of rinky dink brackets you can get. Maybe you've used these before. They just kind of keep things in place. But the thing is, is that the gauge of the steel is such that I just never really feel that secure about them. And looking back at some other stuff I built around here, this was like an old barn beam and I kind of cut it down and used a bracket that brings the wood up off the pier. But these guys are also kind of rinky-dink, like that thin gauge steel. Now in looking on the interwebs, it looks like there are some much beefier steel, like eighth inch thick steel brackets that people are using for their pole barns. So I looked into those thinking that'd be pretty sweet, but they're like a little bit expensive. What I'm gonna do is cannibalize some angle iron instead. While the angle iron is beefy, it's definitely not as tall as those other brackets. But the more I think about it, I'm not really worried about tall. This isn't about supporting the column. It's really about keeping the column in place. So I'm gonna go with angle iron. I think it's gonna do a good job of locating everything, keeping it locked down. It's beefier and big surprise, also cheaper. I can tell you guys are really liking my new improvised work table. So one and two are triple lamb. Three and four are just double right now. The third one will be shortened a little bit for the garage door header. I should have really just bought a couple of 10 footers for this, but that's just the level of planning that doesn't always happen. Let's just call that failed attempt number one to raise the post. For failed attempt number two, I'm just gonna move it back a little bit and see if I can slide it in. See, my trouble is like sliding between the trusses. So, gotta kinda try that.
All right, so for fail attempt number two, it might not be a total fail. Just gotta kind of squeeze it up in there. All right, beam is resting on absolutely nothing. Could follow either direction. This isn't attached or anything. What? Okay, this is like an initial attachment method. Just got a couple screws in it up top. It's kinda plumb-ish. Twisted, no, it's plumb. All right, so that is post number one. The other ones don't have this little shrimpified bracket. They're all kind of bigger and I don't know, maybe end up nipping off the corner. We'll see how everything comes together. Our back wall posts are in place except for the tops, which still need some lags and bracing and stuff. I mean, I guess by default, since the front truss is already kind of locked in everything else, there is some connection between this front wall, like the rest of the building, but I still think like up top, just like a little something else, just a little more bracing. Just because, you know, the structure, it should get some, some force, at least wind force on the front and the back that I'd want to sort of transfer to everything else as opposed to just have this front truss and everything take it anyway the deal is that we got four posts in the ground locked into the ground and bolted up top so i'm thinking it's time to put some girts in you know that horizontal wood on which walls are built
Yeah. Say so you're on the list. Yeah. Pretty annoying. Be careful with your fingers. Uh, the only thing different up on this top row is just that the pieces are a little longer so I can connect up over on the side. Now as for this attachment, I think I'll do something back behind but not right now. There are these kind of like big moments in building something like this. When the building's kind of transformed, getting the boxes in place, that was one of them. Getting the freaking roof on this thing. And right now, putting this back wall framing on. I know it's not a wall yet. Like it's just framed, but Oh my gosh, it feels so different to me. If you've been following the series, you probably know that I kind of like debate things as I go along. Like I'm not exactly working from engineers sketch drawings and on page 23 of 47 right now. I'm just kind of looking at it and thinking maybe windows, maybe not. So if I do windows, I think I'm going to put them up high. I got a couple windows I salvaged that would be good up high, but I'm still kind of attached to this loft on the inside idea here in the back. So no door in the back, maybe a couple windows, but that's kind of like a lot of blabbing about stuff. I still got to frame out the front and the front needs not only wall girts, not only these guys, but also a big old header over that door. I'm thinking the human door is gonna come through here, but I'll frame that up like way later in the game. Right now it's just gonna be all wall stuff. If anyone's getting freaked out about this, it's only mildly sketchy. At this point, I'm just using some kind of placeholder screws. All this stuff's got to be super low bearing. So I'm going to come back through with either beefy nails or heavy duty screws. Anyway, that's just to keep you from getting all freaked by my Wimpadelic screws.
All right, it's raining, but I've just got two more girts. One on this side, one on this side. There will be some explaining in some future episodes about why I did the triple header dealio. It just has to do with the garage door. That's just, that's just all I'm gonna say about that right now. I should mention, however, that this right here this is not necessarily like a, like a how-to DIY kind of video. That might have been obvious to you, but I thought I should say, instead, it's just the way I did it, and I appreciate you checking it out. And then every time it rains, I'm reminded of the fact that the gutters, the future gutters of the structure, are sitting here on top of the truck. <laughs> 